Theodore Roosevelt, children admired him, they adored him, and they had every good reason to do that. Then one day, an old friend came to Theodore, who was his young son, had left home and gone to live with the aunt. And the boy was wild. And he was this, he was that, according to the father. Roosevelt said, nonsense. I don't believe there is anything wrong with your boy. But if uh, your boy has your spirit, then I cannot stop thinking of how you have been treating him at home. And of course, he is going to run away. Several days later, Theodore met the boy. And the boy, and he asked the boy, what is this I'm hearing from your dad? And the boy told him, every time I go to dad, he explodes. He never gives me a chance to tell him my story. I'm always wrong. I'm always to blame. You know, son, Theodore told him, you may not believe it now, but your father is your best friend. You are more to him than all the rest of the world. But the boy protested, said, I don't know that. He doesn't show me that. But I wish he would take some other way of showing that. Then uh, Roosevelt sent for the father and he began to tell the father the few shocking truths that the boy had shared. And the father exploded again, said, see, I told you, the boy never appreciates. Then Roosevelt told him, if you talk to your boy the way you are speaking to me, no wonder he left home. I only marvel that he didn't do it before that. So go get acquainted to him and you change your way of communication. I want to share a few tips on how to communicate as a leader and starting to communicate in organizations. Nothing could be easier than failing to communicate. Condescending, contradicting, belating, demeaning, mistreating people who you work with, showing them I'm the boss and you work here for me was until recently the way to go. But today, you no longer have the backing rights when you are working with people. For many years, loudness was equated to being tough. Stubbornness was equated to being having superior knowledge. Argumentativeness was equated with honesty. But in today's emerging information age, you no longer treat your people that way. In fact, one of the bosses of Chrysler shared that if you are an operator in a plant and you need to tell someone 300 meters from you to change something so they can do their job better and you also do your job better, you go over to them and you tell them. No longer they sometimes break the email thing, breaks, break the telephone thing, walk over, be human. So more and more people in business are beginning to understand the essence of good communication. The ability to communicate well is one of the soft skills that is going to be a differentiator for you now and into the future. So there are three ways that you can communicate well. Number one, make communication a top priority. No matter how busy you are, during the workday, you must absolutely take time to communicate. All brilliant ideas in the world are worthless unless you communicate. So make communication a priority in your daily engagement with your people. Ensure you understand whether these people understand your vision, your mission, your values. Communication does not happen in the big conference rooms. It doesn't happen in the big boardrooms. It happens on the ground, on the floor, on the shop floor. 
in the if you are doing a road it happens there on the site i'm privileged to be involved in a road project within my community and we have a group of three four people who we have put together ourselves and we are helping lead the process and we have to visit literally the road three days like every three days to see how things are happening and there is a supervisor of works on the ground who you have to keep communicating with so communication is being there on the ground with the people where it is happening if it is in a supermarket you are with your chief stalkers on the floor as a manager or the ceo and understanding what the customer is talking about so make communication a priority the second important thing about communication is that be open to other people be be ready and willing to engage be somebody who is reachable somebody we can speak to somebody we can relate to somebody we can be able to relate and talk to so the need for effective communication means you must be somebody relatable somebody we can be able to share and talk without feeling being uh, feeling intimidated third reason the importance of communication in a corporate in an organization in a business is that you must also create a receptive environment for communication you see this particular father was not receptive to the son he was not willing to listen to the son so you must be willing and ready to have a receptive that's why you have two ears and one mouth to listen more we are told the average call that a client takes can give you so much information if you only listen the big mistake managers and leaders do is that they think you have all the ideas you have all it takes listen a bit more today remember if this is your first time on this particular channel hit the subscription button and become part of this particular community god bless you